Hello Internet people! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a progressive web app in WordPress. And I'll show you how to test it so you can verify it's working. Arnie, what's on your home screen? Just bodies. Tape sweat punch. Alright, so progressive web app is kind of like if a normal website and a mobile native app had a baby. It's a bit of both. With PWA, your website will be more like a native app in terms of usability, speed, and it can work offline. It can push also notifications and you can have a home screen icon. So let's install PWA on your WordPress website. I'm now on my WordPress dashboard and here go to plugins and add new. Then type PWA in the search box Next, you will need to install PWO for WP and AMP. There's more popular plugin called Super Progressive Web Apps, but it seems the guys at the first one are more active in support and they're updating the plugin all the time. And this plugin also supports AMP, just in case you need it. So just install the plugin and once you're done, don't forget to activate it. Then you end up in the settings page for the plugin. Let's go to the general tab. Here you can set your website name that will appear under the home screen icon. Hercules, how do you feel about that? Disappointed! Change this to whatever you want. Then you need to set an app icon. Please make sure that the first image is saved as PNG and it is 192 by 192 pixels. And for the second icon, it has to be also a PNG and it has to be 512 by 512 pixels. In the offline dropdown, you can choose what page is default page. You could create a separate page, which would just say you're using this website offline, so some pages might not work for you. The rest settings you can keep as default, just don't forget to save your changes. One more setting you might want to adjust, and it's in the advanced tab. Here, there is this custom add to home banner. You can't actually customize it and it doesn't look that good. So I would disable it, but keep the enable on desktop. And again, save the changes. Arnie, how's the tutorial so far? Only pain. If you have enjoyed this video so far, I would appreciate if you could hit the like button. That would be awesome. So how can you tell if PWA is installed? Well, the easiest way is to go to your website and right click anywhere on the page and choose inspect. This will reveal developers console and here click on console tab like this. In here you should see some text about PWA or service worker, which is technology behind the PWA. So if you see this, you're good. So that's cool and all, but what about the push notification and home screen icon? Unfortunately, iOS doesn't really work that well with this, but with Android, it should show up when you are on the website. So I'm here in browser stack on an Android. And as you can see, you have this bar prompting you to add the website icon to your home screen. If you click on it, it will ask to confirm. And once you do that, you can go to your home screen and you will see the icon there. And if you click on it, it will open up the website as if it was a native app. On iOS, there is no way to ask the user to add the icon, but they can do it themselves manually. In Safari, go to the website, then click on the share button and choose add to home screen. Then it will add an icon to your home screen and it will open like a native app without browser bar or the other stuff. My name is Robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!